Welcome to the Triple Crown Restaurant. And here we have the dim sum menu. You can also go on to triplecrown.com and they will show you a better menu here. Okay, Travis, this is for you. This is a barbecue pork turnover. So let's see what it's like. That's, you're supposed to use chopsticks, I'm sure, but I'm just going to use my finger, so I apologize for it not being right. Hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is really good. Very flaky. Um, here's what the inside looks like. See? This is pretty good. Next up, we have pan fried gyoza. Which, if you've seen gyoza at any other point in time, it's going to be the same thing. So I'm not going to show you what's on the inside. Bob ordered these. These are the piggy custard dumplings. Those are the shrimp, uh, triple crown shrimp dumplings barbecue pork dumplings and the barbecue pork crepes. Okay, honestly I should have showed you what was inside the dumpling because that was a fat dumpling filled with pork. It was really good. We have one more so I might show you if I feel hungry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to eat my pork, uh, steamed pork bun. So here's the dumpling. That's what it is on the inside. It's pretty good. All right, here's my barbecue pork crepe. I have no idea how I'm gonna eat this, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so we ate at the Triple Crown restaurant. It was a lot of food. We have some that we're taking back to the hotel with us to munch on later. It was actually really good. I would definitely go back again and not order as much. Um, Bob did get the chicken feet, but he said he was not necessarily a fan of it. What would you think of the restaurant? It was really good, very authentic. Would you go back? Oh yeah. So yeah, um, we didn't go to Strings yet. As far as I know, we may not. So sorry. But uh, we, we wanted to. I really wanted to try the Triple Crown, and it was the better choice right now. Um, we're gonna head back to the hotel. Put our stuff up, we got some things for a few of our friends, and oh, I got me a new hat. I don't usually wear hats, but I needed one because the sun kept getting in my eyes. For dinner, we decided to do Giordano's. Um, they're mostly famous for their pizza, but we decided to get something different. <laughs> so we got mozzarella triangles on the way. I assume they're mozzarella sticks, basically, just in triangular form. I got the fettuccine alfredo, and what did you get? Something. I believe you got the Italian beef sandwich with fries. Sounds good. So let's see what we get and we'll let you know how it tastes. Alright, here we go. <laughs> okay, that's real mozzarella. Let's try this out. Hold on a second, folks. All right, a little bit of the chicken, a little bit of the noodles. There's good fettuccine right there. How's yours? Good. You haven't ate it yet. <laughs> Ketchup. 
it's all made, I think. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the green light here. But then if you look here, it says it's a red light. In the parking garage of all places. Green means you can park there, red means you can't. I have never seen something like this in a parking garage before.